It's here in Macau, but uh, Li Xiao Xia might just have other ideas. Number three, Go Yan in the first round, then she uh, overcame Macau's Mark Cho in, followed by success against uh, Cha Yong Sim from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, then uh, overcame Japan's Sayaka Hirano, followed by success in the quarterfinals against Korea's Lee Yun Hee. And then earlier today in the women's singles semi final, she recorded a four games to nil win over her compatriot, who she went. Meanwhile, uh, Li Xiaoxia, her path to the final. And first of all, she beat uh, again from the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Kim Hai Song. Then from Malaysia, Ung Sok Kim. And from Singapore to Fos fourth round match against Li Jai Wei before uh, receiving a walkover against uh, Goi Wei in the quarterfinals. Goi Wei having to retire with an injured ankle. And then earlier today in the semi final, she beat the number one seed, the defending champion, and the reigning world champion, Ding Ning, to look her place in the final of the women's singles event here in the East Asia Games at Dome. Two right handers, two shake hands grip players and uh, nothing I would suggest to uh, choose between the two. Go Yan now has been playing on the uh, ITTF Pro Tour and on the international circuit now for a decade and uh, desperately, desperately wants the big title. Maybe in fact she puts too much pressure on herself. Li Xiaoxia. And she first appeared in 2003, the World Junior Championships in the Chilean capital city of Santiago. So it's the first game. It's best of seven games. Our umpires are both from Hong Kong. It's Mr. Xu Mi Lan and Mr. Kun Kin Jack. So we're underway, and it's Li Xiaoxia serving. Of course, two players on the same national team. Very, very difficult to uh, predict a winner. You know each other so well. Rankings, seeding, really goes out the window. At the moment, women's table tennis worldwide dominated by China as it has been for almost 20 years. Last uh, world champion that was non Chinese was Korea's Hung Yung Hwa. We have to go back to Gothenburg in 1993. To go back even further to find a non Asian women's singles champion. We have to go back to 1953 to Romania's Angelica Rosiano. Who would have thought when she last won in 1953, we'd still be looking for her successor from Europe?
Frenchman coming in with his very exaggerated uh, sideways stance for serving. The serve drifted just that little bit long. And Li Xiaoxia are able to top spin, but uh, at the moment, both players feeling the way, neither player really into a rhythm. And in table tennis, rhythm is all important. Both young ladies with uh, heavily strapped forearms. Now that's better. Better rally. And throughout, I'm sure we'll see both players stay very, very close to the table. Maybe uh, Go Yan just very, very slightly further back, but uh, nothing really noticeable. of uh, the match so far. It was in favour of Goyan. She's 5-4 uh, ahead. Turning that service in the net. Five all, Go Yan, two serves to come in this sequence of two. Fast and furious. Outstanding control from uh, the Goyan backhand, controlled those attacks of Li Xiaoxia extremely well. And I think that is a facet of uh, modern day table tennis with the women in China. They are very, very safe and secure when, re when required to block the ball, control the ball from the backhand. There for Goyan that takes her into a 9 5 lead. Tremendous table tennis and uh, a long rally. It's won by Go Yan. Now that's five points in a row Go Yan has won to move to 10 5. And it gives her five game points to seize an early advantage. Six, 10. 
One game point save. Sorry, uh, Lee Jiao moving more to the centre of the table to serve. That is uh, to try to reduce the angles that uh, Go Yan can achieve. And she's going to control the point with the backhand. She tried, but uh, the ball just flew a little long. And it's the first game to uh, Go Yan. Go Yan takes the first game 11 6 on her second game point. And there we see the confirmation. No coaches uh, been involved. Two players from the same National Table Tennis Association. That is the practice. They just go out and play without any advisors. We see the concluding point of the game. Uh, Asian Championships, one of the major titles in table tennis, and uh, I think uh, if I went back to 1988, the top prize would have been world champion. I think now uh, most players would regard winning the uh, title at the Olympic Games as the number one crown. Perhaps this is somewhere round about uh, third in the pecking order after uh, the World Championships. Certainly an important title. A tremendous point to start with, won by Lise Aja. And I wonder, are we looking at the final of the Olympic Games in London in July 2012, later this year. These are the two players from China who have qualified for the women's singles event. And no National Olympic Committee is allowed more than two players in the singles event. We can have one more for the team event, but these are the two players which have been approved by the Chinese National Olympic Committee compete in the table tennis events at the 2012 London Olympic Games. I, I wonder, are you watching a dress rehearsal of the Olympic final? Hey. Must we always consider uh, Olympic Games as uh, competitions between countries? It uh, is strictly a competition between National Olympic Committees. Noticeably here in Macau, there is no National Olympic Committee. Of course, there is one in the People's Republic of China, and there is in neighbouring Hong Kong. As in the first game, little to choose in the early stages. Score at two all. back on the table, play consistently, and proving very, very patient. So here we have Goyan, one more service left in this sequence of two.
And the first attack from Goyan wasn't all it should be. It was uh, not strong enough, and of course, Li Xiao Xiao could seize the initiative. Just trying to force the pace a little bit, makes the error, and again, uh, Goyan satisfied to absorb the uh, attacks of uh, Li Xiao Xiao. Attempted to serve long. Well, she did serve long. It's just she missed the table at the other side. Well, a good first attack uh, from Goyan. Two things there. A lot of tops been on the ball, and the ball was directed towards the indecision point. Now, if we take the elbow of the playing arm of Li Xiaoxia, if you direct the ball to the elbow of the playing arm, then Li Xiaoxia has to decide, does she play forehand, does she play backhand? You have to make a decision, therefore the indecision point. Oh, tremendous. Absolutely top-notch, top-class well pass. Great rally, great technique, but above all, especially uh, when stretched wide, Li Xiao Xiao, incredible balance. And Li Xiao Xiao again elected to serve very much from the centre of the table. She will be able to cover much of the uh, table from the backhand. She moves to play the forehand and uh, proves me totally wrong. But uh, the momentum very much with uh, Goyan. She had a good run of points in uh, the uh, previous game, five in a row, in fact. And she now has a three point uh, advantage at 7 4. Uh, over the table there. Li Xiao Xiao was absolutely outstanding with that forehand flick. It uh, forced uh, Go Yan very much into the passive mode, and Li Xiao Xiao was able to seize the advantage. So, uh, Go Yan, two serves to come. She leads at 7 5. The serve drifted just that little bit long, and. Uh, Li Xiao Xia was uh, able to attack with a control forehand topspin. Julie won the point. Now the gap is down to one point at 7 6. Oh, Jimmy. She's got away with the let service. Gives herself a little talking to. Again, tremendous rally, and uh, Li Xiao Xiao is now levelled at 7 all. Well, the run of points in the previous game went the way of Go Yan, and uh, now we've seen three in a row for Li Xiao Xiao. Xiao 
just I think uh, if I go again uh, these last um, four or five points she's possibly been just a little bit passive. Tried to create the angle from the backhand, flew long, and uh, the run of success for uh, Lee Xiaoxia finishes. The intention was uh, admirable, just the uh, direction a little bit awry. Eight all. Return the ball short, it will touch into the base of the net. And when you uh, play that stroke, important to try to uh, make contact with the ball before the top of the bounce, not at the top or after, but before the top of the bounce. Just again, two or three times in this game, when the Lee Zhao Zhao has tried to force the pace with the backhand, the ball has just flown. That's a fraction of an inch too long. So we're back level at nine all. Tremendous attacking play from Li Xiao Zhao. Outstanding. And uh, the little nod of the head there from uh, Goyan acknowledges that fact. So, 10 9, it is one game point to Li Xiao Zhao. Outstanding. One game point, and that's all she needed. Li Xiaoxia takes the second game, 11-9, in this women's singles final at the 20th Asian Table Tennis Championships, where uh, matches in the singles are all best of seven games. It is one game all. First game to Goyan, 11-6. The second game goes the way of Li Xiaoxia, 11-9. Everything to play for and nothing at all to separate these two wonderful players. Here, Go Yan at the number three seed, Li Xiao Xia at the number four seed. The top two seeds, both disappearing at the expense of these two ladies in the semi-finals. Go Yan beating the number two seed, Lu Shi Wen, and uh, Li Xiao Xia ending the hopes of the defending champion, the world champion, and the number one seed, Ding Ding. Tremendous. Look at the speed and the balance. Quick strokes. Good control from the wrist. Points there to note. The wrist is giving the speed in the stroke. The elbow is giving the control. And then let the shoulder rip for power. But... Uh, major factor amongst the Asian players compared with other continents is especially with the women short quick strokes and certainly it pays dividends no question absolutely remarkable Over the table, contact at the top of the bounce. 
Florian seizes the opportunity, slightly fortunate, but uh, he must take his chances. And uh, Gorgian has made the better start in this uh, crucial uh, third game. She leads 2 0. Now, Gorgian has been much more positive uh, in this game than uh, in the second game, when certainly uh, Li Xiao Zha sort of took the ascendancy. But the consistency, especially from the backhand uh, of both players, is quite remarkable. On the backhand there, Goyan was always just playing with an element of topspin, putting some rotation on the ball, so that if uh, Li Xiaoxia was to play strongly, she would have to take a risk. Eventually, the ball just popped up because of the topspin that uh, Goyan imparted, and Goyan was able to seize the opportunity with uh, a fast forehand to win the point. Again, slightly fortunate, but uh, it's an absolute dream start in uh, the third game for Goyan. She's uh, won the first five points. And, of course, with uh, games in table tennis being to 11 points, things can change very, very quickly indeed. in this third game. I'm going and just deceived a little by the uh, return from uh, Li Xiaoxia, most unusual. absorbed the attack of uh, Goyan extremely well against uh, most other players. Uh, forehand from Goyan would have won the point. Uh, five love and it's uh, Li Xiaoxia's turn and uh, the deficit is down to one point so Li Xiaoxia one service to come in this sequence of two she trails 4-5 of Goyan. That was a very important point to win. It just stops the run of Li Xiaoxia. And it was a very, very good point to win. Tremendously high class. from Li Xiaoxia. So now Go Yan's moving more to the centre of the table to serve. You can cover the angles better.
is your serving just one point behind and six seven. And now go Jan, two serves to come, she leads 8 6. Ooh, top edge. Happens to the best. That gives uh, go Jan a distinct advantage at 9 6. Consistent attacking player from Goyan takes uh, her to 10 6 to four game points. And I think she just pointed actually, uh, I've missed that as well, and very sporting that uh, the ball did just clip the edge of the table. So uh, I think we need to turn the score back, uh, maybe. That's better. We're at 9 7, I hope. Just uh, wait for it to come on your screen and see the umpire in the background. Correct now, and uh, fortune this time for uh, Goyan. And I uh, mean, and credit to Goyan for giving that point. The umpire didn't see it, and uh, it's good to know that uh, the best athletes in the sport of table tennis play fairly and honestly. And it's uh, three game points to uh, Goyan with at least Algier to serve. First game point saved. Standing there uh, over the table, and Lee Zhao saves a second game point. Just wonder if it went through uh, Goyan's mind maybe to take a time out, but uh, she decided not to. Jaja saves three game points in a row to level at 10 all. So now it's alternate services and the first player two points clear to win the game. Topspin. And the run of uh, points has been saved. And how often does that happen? The player comes back, wins three, four points in a row to uh, to level matters at ten all, then loses the next point. I reckon it happens at least eighty percent of the time. So it gives uh, Goiwe, sorry Goiwe, she's uh, out of the tournament injured. It gives Goyan a fourth game point. I have to say, that was accurate, to the eye of a needle. Not a millimetre to spare. So, back at level at 11 all, and this is your serving.
that one goes for Florian, very much in evidence, always just imparting a degree of topspin on the ball. Not hitting the ball flat at a low trajectory, and uh, if my mathematics is right, this is a fifth game point for Goyan. And this time. Uh, she has to duck out the way, but uh, I'm sure she's quite happy to do that. It means she takes the third game at 13-11. Yan moves into a two games to one lead in this women's singles final here at the 20th Asian Table Tennis Championships. Important game, I think, for uh, Goyan to win, especially after having three game points and uh, losing them all and then having a, a fourth game point and that being saved, that could have been uh, quite a uh, heartbreak, a quite mental uh, disaster for uh, Goyan, but she came through. She's two games to one ahead. And let's see if she benefits mentally from winning that very first game. What effect has it had? And the speed of movement, the superb balance, short, quick, effective strokes. And that's the point that just finished the game. So we're into the fourth game, and uh, Goyan leads by two games to one, and he's serving. Ambitious, I think, there from uh, going in. So level at uh, to all. And just looking ahead, of course, to the Olympic Games in London. Both these ladies qualified for the singles, and uh, for both it will be their first appearance in Oly Olympic Games. Neither selected in 2004 for Athens, and uh, neither in 2008 for Beijing. Goyan 2005 runner up in the women's singles event at the World Championships in Shanghai. And she is absolutely desperate to win the big one. Many times uh, over the past 10 years, she's been a member of the Chinese national team. But uh, when it's come to the final of a team event, well, she's been sitting on the bench. But. Uh, Maybe now in uh, in London, in the splendid XL Arena, she will have her chance. So 
back on to back on leg of practice session. Only Zhao Zhao serving and trailing at 3 4. Strong attack to uh, the indecision point. <coughs> Take that. Very short points in this game, and uh, both players well aware of how important uh, this fourth game is for uh, Goiwan. If she can clinch it, uh, she's one away from the title. For Li Zhao Zhao, she's still in the hunt. There's two mistakes there from the Li Zhao Zhao backhand. Maybe just not quite in position. Just stretching for the ball slightly. So Li Zhao serving and she's trading 4-6. Clever service, backspin, 5-6. Standing backhand topspin as uh, strong as any forehand. Brings the scores level at 6 all with Goyan to serve. chance there, it's heavy top spin, but the ball is perhaps just a fraction high and Li Zhao Zhao saw the opportunity to attack with the forehand, it's just uh, the attempted forehand just flew a fraction long. Tremendous uh, backhand from uh, Goyan. Reacted very quickly, reacted positively. That takes her once again to a two point lead. But again, two serves to come from Li Xiao Zhao. Last time she made full use of them. Can she do exactly the same again? Moving to the middle of the table to serve again to cut out the angles that Goyan can achieve. and just goes long. Now that does give Goyan some breathing space. She now has a three point advantage. She leaves, leads 9-6. Li Zhao still one service to come in the sequence of two. There the forehand again flies long. Two points in a row for Goyan. That takes it to 10-6. It takes it to four game points. And of course, so far, neither pair has taken the one-minute timeout for which they're entitled. So both players still have that up their sleeves, but uh, the advantage now definitely with Goyan. First 
game point saved. Memories of the last game? Well, last game she had 10-7, and uh, Li Xiao Xiao came back to 10 all. Now, uh, can Li Xiao Xiao do that again? The answer is possibly. And Goyan elects to take a tie now. I think that's uh, quite a, a shrewd move with the score at 10-8. Uh, Crucial stages of uh, this uh, table tennis match and maybe better to take the time out when you're ahead than uh, when you're uh, trailing. I think the only trouble is that... Uh, Li Jiao Jiao will have the next two services. Maybe sometimes better to try to take the time out when you know you've got the next service and uh, you can uh, dictate the point more. But uh, I suspect Go Yan thinks it's just time to uh, have one minute to get uh, mind and body back together, focus on the task in hand, not rush, not make any silly mistakes, and uh, try to move into uh, a three games to one lead. So, Li Jiao Jia to serve. Two serves to come. And previously in this game, on her two serves, she's done rather well, so... Uh, can she do the same again? Well, that's three game points saved, back to one difference at 10-9. And she's done it four in a row. She saved all four game points. Now, despite the fact that uh, Goyan uh, took that timeout, if anything, the timeout has worked in favour of Li Xiao Jia. Now, uh, in the last game, she saved three game points, then lost the next point. Will history repeat itself? The answer is yes. And so, having taken four points in a row, having levelled at 10 all, it's now a fifth game point for Go Yang. Slightly fortunate, but she takes the opportunity. Li Xiao Xia saved four game points on the run and then lost the next two. The fourth game goes the way of Go Yan. It goes the way of Go Yan 12-10. She leads by three games to one. She took the first game 11-6. Li Xiao Xia took the second 11-9. Then 13-11, 12-10 in favour of Go Yan. Takes her into a three games to one lead. Goyan is uh, one game away from making it a hat trick in Macau. 2008, December, women's singles winner, Pro Tour Grand Finals. And uh, in 2010, January, she won the same title. So, Li Xiaoja serving at the start of the fifth game. 
Very well directed back and from uh, Li Zhao Zhao wide to the Goyan forehand. serve was weak, she uh, misread the spin on the ball. And we see the strapping on uh, Li Xiao Xia's, uh right arm. She, uh, earlier this year, on the uh, GAC Group uh, World Tour, that's the new name for the ITTF Pro Tour, she uh, played in the Hungarian Open, but uh, then had to return home for, because of the injury and didn't play in Slovenia. and down the parallel produces success. of high order. And, uh, early in the rallies, uh, Li Jiajia are electing to play the backhand down the line, down the parallel towards the uh, Goyan forehand. At the moment, the response from Goyan is consistent, but not necessarily positive. It's giving Li Zhaozha a 4-3 lead. Change of tactic from Li Zhaozha, but uh, didn't work stepping around the backhand to play a forehand. Common practice very much in men's table tennis, but uh, perhaps not quite so prevalent for the ladies. Again, uh, Li Jiaja elects to uh, attack the Goyan. Uh, Forehand, and this time she reaps the reward. First game they were level at five all, and then Goyan won five points in a row. Well, the, the um, third and fourth games history repeated itself with uh, Li Jiajia saving three game points, then four game points. Uh, will first game history be repeated? Goyan had the fortune in that point that uh, Li Jiaojia won the point, so uh, in this case, the first game history will not be repeated. Li Jiaojia leads 6 5. 
go around with one service to come. And again, attacks the forehand, and again, he's successful. Li Xiaoxia moves ahead at 7 5. And uh, now Li Xiaoxia in a situation where she has two services to come. And certainly a very good opportunity to win the game and reduce the match areas. Tremendous uh, rally. Fast reactions, good anticipation. Very well directed. Caught uh, Goyan totally off balance. <laughs> so Goyan to serve. Trailing six eight. Top spin player produces uh, success for Goyan. Deficit down to one point. That service. And just flies long now. Could that be crucial? That brings uh, Goyan back level at eight all. But uh, Li Xiaoxia, two serves to come. I just remember Goyan has taken a timeout. Li Xiaoxia has not yet taken the timeout. She still has that ploy up her sleeve. Next to serve very much from the centre of the table. Now, will she attack the Goyan forehand as before? to the forehand wins the point. Gaining some success by playing out wide and uh, towards Goyan's forehand. Not to suggest that Goyan is weak in that area, just uh, Li Xiaoza is proving extremely strong in playing to that region. 9-8. Tries to go out to the forehand again. It uh, brought success to the point before, but uh, this time the attempted forehand just goes that little bit too wide. Now, surely the balance has swung in favour of Goyan, and I'm a little surprised Li Xiaoxia didn't take a timeout. It's 9 all, and Goyan has two serves to come. Two serves that could bring her the Asian women's singles title. Tremendous point. The reaction of Goyan tells you who won that point. You don't need to be watching the television screen. It is match point, championship point to Goyan. So Goyan. 
and prepares this exaggerated stance to serve. There. Lee Zhaozha pushed out wide to the forehand. Goyan sees the opportunity. Heavy forehand topspin at the first attempt. She seizes the opportunity, waves to the crowd, salutes the crowd. It is a success for Goyan. She beats Lee Zhaozha 11 6, 9 11, 13 11, 12 10, 11 9. Goyan is the 2012 Asian Table Tennis Championships Women's Singles winner. The name on the trophy is that of Goyan, China.